Hi folks, today we're going to go over the front of the TENS on, uh, in this video and then uh, the next video kind of goes over the back side where most of your homework is. Um, at this point in time, if you can pull out your periodic table, if you've printed the TENS, life is going to be a lot easier for you. Uh, the cover of your unit pack also has a lot of information, so maybe you might want to stop the video at this point in time and either uh, bring up the cover or look at your cover. Uh, but spend a little time looking at it because most of the information will go over that. So oxidation is a loss of electrons. Uh, oil, oxidation is a loss of electrons. So losing electrons results in a positive charge. So if you lose a negative charge, you in fact become positively charged. Electrons are negatively charged, so you lose an electron, you become more positive. Just kind of like a, a, a general idea in the real world. If you lose some negative, you become more positive. Reduction is a gain of electrons. So if you gain some negative electrons, you gain some negative charges, you're going to become negatively charged. Oil rig. Oxidation is a loss of electrons. You become positive. Reduction is a gain of electrons. You become more negative. We taught you this at the beginning of the year. These are all metals. And the simplest definition of a metal is an element that will lose electrons. So metals become oxidized. And these are all our nonmetals. And a lot of those will become reduced. So when iron rusts, so think about a rusty old car. Cars, a lot of them are made out of iron. Um, so when iron rusts, it is being oxidized. So here's our iron. And the term oxidized comes from the first time that they kind of realized that this process was going on. Oxygen was causing it to uh, oxidize a metal, and that's where the term oxidation came from. So the oxidation agent or the oxidizing agent of iron is oxygen. So this right here, this iron is being oxidized. What caused it to become oxidized is this oxygen. So oxygen is called the oxidizing agent. That was on the fives, the, the prior worksheet. There are other oxidizing agents besides oxygen. It's just oxygen is kind of an easy one to look at. That's where the terminology comes from. The oxidizing agent is a reactant. So when we ask you for what's oxidized, what's reduced, what's the oxidizing agent, what's the reducing agent, everything will come from this reactant side. Nothing will come from this product side. So the oxidizing agent is a reactant that causes an element to lose electrons. The oxidizing agent is a substance that causes something to become oxidized. When electrons are lost, so when negative charges are lost, the element becomes more positive. We call this charge the oxidation state. So if I could get above this, and I'm really kind of having a hard time doing that, but this has an oxidation state of zero. This has an oxidation state of zero. Oxygen has a two negative for an oxidation state, and there's three of them, so that's six negative. Iron, therefore, would have to be six positive. You take that six, divide it by this two that's right here, and we get each one to be a three positive. So iron went from a zero to a three positive it became more positive. Any pure element, like a metal or a diatomic element, and it gives you the, the seven diatomics right there, have an oxidation state of zero. So any element that doesn't have a charge on it, Fe, um, Na, if they don't have a charge on it, their oxidation number is zero. All of these guys are zero as well as we go along. 
something that was learned on the fives, something that is on your cover. 5A, in this reaction, we got again, iron, oxygen making iron three oxide. What's the charge of the ions in iron three oxide? Well, we learned this at the beginning of the year. This tells us the charge. So that charge would be a three positive. I apologize for my writing abilities, uh, just the way it goes. B, the iron atoms go from a zero to a three positive. In oxidation, there's always an increase in oxidation number. So again, oil, oxidation is a loss of electrons. When you lose negative charges, you become more positive, which is an increase in oxidation number. In a redox, there's both oxidation and reduction, and they happen at the same time. So in this unit, we talk about an oxidation reaction. We talk about a, a reduction reaction. But the truth is, they both have to occur at the exact same time. One cannot occur without the other. So an element cannot gain electrons if there is not some element present to lose electrons. So gaining electrons is a reduction and losing electrons is an oxidation and so they have to occur at the same time and we call that a redox reaction. Reduction, oxidation. Again, I apologize for my writing skills. Learn that in the fives, also on your cover. Half reactions. So the half reactions we're talking about are the oxidation half reaction and the reduction half reaction. So the number of half reactions that add up to a whole reaction is two. Our redox reaction is a reduction reaction and an oxidation reaction. One half reaction is oxidation, so the other one must be reduction. Use the electrons in oil rig to decide which is oxidation and which is reduction. So in this instance, when we're trying to figure out, is this being oxidized or reduced? Is this being oxidized or reduced? It's always talking about the reactant. We're not looking over here at the products. We're looking simply at the reactants. So we look at this copper two ions. Is it gaining two electrons? Is it adding in? two electrons, or is this copper two positive losing electrons to become Cu? So if this Cu two positive lost even more electrons, it would become even more positive over here, but it's not. It's actually becoming zero for an oxidation number over here. So we're going from a two positive to a zero. We must be gaining electrons. So these two electrons are being added into copper two plus. So this is a gain of electrons. Reduction is a gain of electrons. So this is a reduction reaction. This is aluminum, solid aluminum. Uh, maybe if you have a Ford F-150, you have an aluminum body on it or an aluminum can. Okay, this is aluminum metal. It's turning into ions, and we talked about that uh, in the previous worksheet. When we have a metal that turns into ions, that's an oxidation. These ions will wash down the drain, will wash off of the metal, and we'll have less metal at the end. So we have a zero here for an oxidation number. Sorry about that. We have a three positive for our oxidation number, so we're going from zero to three positive. This aluminum right here must have lost some electrons to become this three positive. This aluminum became aluminum ions and three electrons. So this aluminum lost three electrons to become this aluminum ions. Oxidation is a loss of electrons. So this aluminum was oxidized and it lost three electrons and became ions, which will wash down the drain 
and give us less aluminum at the end of the reaction. So this is the oxidation. Nine, find the half reactions on the back of your periodic table. How many oxidation reactions are there? Well, if we look at the back of your periodic table, you're going to realize that, well, none of them are oxidation reactions. None of them have the electrons over on the product side. All the electrons are over on the reactant side. So how would you make all of these into oxidation reactions? You just simply flip them all, and they would be oxidation reactions. So if we look here, um, we look at these reactions, and we're trying to figure out if which one's oxidation, which one is reduction. So if we look at this one, I talked about it earlier. An oxidation is where you start with a metal and you turn it into ions, those ions wash away. We talked about oxidation is this substance right here losing some negative charges, becoming more positive. And right here is the loss of those electrons. So this is my oxidation half reaction. Reduction is a gain of electrons. So right here, these copper two ions are gaining two electrons. And this is a lower oxidation number. So this has a zero for an oxidation number. This has an oxidation number of two positive. So we're going from two positive to a zero. So that must be gaining some electrons. So this is oxidation is a loss of electrons. This is reduction is a gain of electrons. So did this aluminum gain or lose electrons? This aluminum lost some electrons. We went from a zero to a three positive. So the oxidation number went up. Where are the electrons found? They are found over here on the product side. So you can always recognize an oxidation reaction if electrons are lost, if the oxidation number goes up, and if the electrons are found over on the product side. This is a reduction half reaction. So there is a gain of electrons. We went from a two positive to a zero. So the oxidation number went down from a two positive to a zero and the electrons are found on the reactant side. So how do we recognize the reduction half reaction? There is a gain of electrons. The oxidation number goes down. The electrons are found over on the reactant side. And in a couple worksheets, that's gonna help us figure out some of the stuff. The reduction half reaction also is a reduction in oxidation number. So we go from a two positive to a zero, that is a reduction in oxidation number. And that's where the term comes from. So when Lulu goes to Hollywood, she gets an agent. So in a meeting, Lulu and her agent are both present. When zinc is oxidized, it needs an oxidizing agent. When nickel ions are reduced, they need a reducing agent. Circle the oxidizing agent for zinc. So if this is being oxidized, this is causing it to become oxidized. If this is being reduced, it's going from a two positive to a zero, it's being reduced in oxidation number, this is the reducing agent. So this is oxidized, this is reduced, both found on the reactant side. This is the reducing agent, this is the oxidizing agent, both found on the reactant side. So the oxidizing agent contains the item that's reduced. The reducing agent contains the item that's oxidized. So on the next page, it is very important that you have the rules. They're found on your cover as well. You might have to write them down if you don't have a printer. And you need to do the entire back side. There is a video on that as well. Hope you guys are doing okay at home. Have a good day. Bye-bye.